All right, graduates, believe. There is nothing more powerful in this world than believing that you can do something. More than any other factor, believing in yourself will help you to achieve the things that you want to achieve. It's literally ridiculous how true it is. Looking back on my high school career, I have two regrets. The first is that I didn't believe this statement as literally as I should have. The second is that I should have kissed more girls. <laughs> Listen, I know it sounds like a line recited to you by your parents or by your teachers. A cliche. But trust me, I've lived it a hundred times and I've witnessed it a thousand times. If you believe that you can do something, then you can. The power of positive thinking is strong stuff, but so is the power of negative thinking. Watch out what you think, because as the saying goes, whether you think that you can, or whether you think that you can't, you're right. So when you get out there, believe in yourselves, graduates. Keep your successes in your pocket. I'm always blown away at how even really talented and accomplished people can get down on themselves. Or maybe what surprises me is not so much that they can get down. That happens to all of us. It's just that they may not know how to deal with it. I want to really encourage all of you to keep your successes in your pocket. What I mean by that is remember your accomplishments, your major ones, your minor ones, and even your small triumphs. When things are going great and everything's clicking and everything is good, Remember to stash some of that good feeling about yourself away for a rainy day. You're going to need it. I even sometimes go as far as to have an athlete write all of the amazing things that they can do down on a piece of paper and drop it in their pocket. When you hit the inevitable flat spot in your game, your career, your relationship, anything, or even just have a bad day, pull that pot of gold out and look at it to make yourself feel better and to remind yourself that you don't suck. You're actually pretty good. Don't become paralyzed by options. Having a lot of options is a good thing, right? Well, sure, I mean, maybe, as long as you know how to handle it. Of all of the things that I'm saying to you today, this one may be the one that has affected me the most in my own life. Here's how it works. You have options, but all of the options seem like good ones. Even though they all appear to be good ones, you know that some must be better than others. Logically, it follows that one must be the best option. One must be the worst, and the rest are sprinkled in between. But it's tough to tell which is which. What follows next is a pattern familiar to probably many people in this room. I mean, I hope so, anyway, because it's very familiar to me. You stress out over which option to choose, which direction to go. Your worry, of course, is that if you don't choose the perfect option, you are at the very least wasting your time. And at worst, you are seriously sidetracking yourself and veering off of your upward path. The danger, of course, and I have not only seen it a lot, but have done it to myself at least a few times, is that unsure of what is the best option, you hesitate. You choose none. You do nothing. But here's the secret. They're all good options. And each one, though they seem so different, will probably get you to where you want to go just as fast and just as effectively as any of the others would have. The important thing to do is to go ahead and choose one. Get going. Again, don't become paralyzed by options. Play your strengths. Everyone has things that they're naturally good at. Those things are just what we do. It just comes out of each of us. Everyone has weaknesses too, and we should all work on our weaknesses. But don't get stuck working on your weaknesses too much. I know that may sound counterintuitive, but especially for you graduating seniors, you're gonna be looking to pursue an upward path as soon as you can. Focus more of your energy on amplifying your strengths. The quickest and most rewarding path to success for any of us especially early on, is going to be through our strengths. It's empowering to just let go, be yourself, and do what comes naturally. I mean, that stuff is yours, you know? 
That'll give you the strength to conquer your weaknesses in due time. Trust your intuition. Trust your own ideas. Where we are right now, society, the state of the world, the state of the economy, the state of the arts, of business, of the sciences, of the development of the human race, everything is a product of the past. An amazing past, full of amazing people, amazing thinkers, amazing doers. Those people and their ideas are what got the world to where it is now. But that's not where it's headed. It's headed where you are going to take it, with your ideas. Avoid using current thinking as a blueprint for your own ideas. Each one of us comes with a unique way of thinking that never happened before and will never be duplicated. As silly as it sounds, a cure for a disease or a better way of building a bridge or a skyscraper or a better way of saving our planet or an endangered species or of powering our modes of transportation or even something like a photograph that has never been taken before. Those kind of ideas will come from you guys, taking it forward, not from the past. In closing, I'm going to speak directly to these distinguished graduates of the Stowe High School class of 2010. And I'd like your full attention, please. I'm a coach, remember. Graduates, none of you has to be anything more than who you are right now to have all of the success that you may want out there. By graduating from this program, it's agreed. The die is cast. You're ready. There's a whole wide world out there waiting for you. It will challenge you, but it will also reward you. It will make you laugh, and it will sometimes make you cry. You'll find success and accomplishment, but you'll also experience failure. No successful life would be complete or balanced without that. You'll find love, and you may lose it, but sit tight, because you'll find it again. Keep your cool out there, and when you hit the flat spots that inevitably punctuate anyone's personal or professional life, try not to freak out. Take a deep breath, and then see those moments for what they really are. An opportunity to lift your head up, look around, and see what's really going on, and what is really important. And finally, graduates, if you're going to do this life right, and you are, just make sure you stomp the crap out of it. Thank you. <laughs>